route, but who will make it through to the semi-finals of CBBC Star Striker 2010? Andy, he's got the most insane technique I've ever seen. He heads with his body, so he's like this. <laughs> OK, so the World Cup's not the only competition taking place at the moment. Yesterday, we launched the CBBC Star Striker 2010. Now, 10 became 8 as Helen and Leah from Newsround got knocked out. Ooh. So there was a new skill, but who will be going home today? CBBC Star Striker 2010 will find the best all-round footballer from 10 competitors. In London's iconic Battersea Power Station, we're being tested in four key footballing skills. Striking, heading, passing and dribbling. The competition is a knockout, so there can only be one winner. In the last round, striking was the challenge and buckets were the target. Fowl and Lewis shone through, but Helen and Leah failed to hit any buckets and their star striker journey was over. The eight remaining competitors are Mark from CBBC Duo, Sam and Mark, Danny Harmer, star of Tracy Beaker, Ian, the face of CBBC, Farrell Smith, classical singer from Britain's Got Talent, Ollie Murs, X Factor finalist, Lewis Smith, Olympic medal winning gymnast. And with Helen out, it was just Joel and me from Blue Peter. But it's every player for themselves. Our coach is Mike Delaney, football skills mentor to the likes of Ronaldo and Beckham. And hosting the tournament is football presenter and former Radio 1 DJ Mark Chappers Chapman. Guys, welcome back to Battersea Power Station. Congratulations on getting this far. But remember that by the end of this, only one of you can be CBBC Star Striker 2010 and get your hands on this trophy. Now, last time things were tough. We said goodbye to two of your fellow competitors, but get over it and move on because this will be equally as tough. Mike. Today's challenge is all about headers. They can play a vital role in the game. Again, you're going to have 45 minutes to train with me. Then you'll be tested. Six of you will go through, two will go out. It is time to get training. Away you go. We've got just 45 minutes to get our heads around this skill. There's different types of headers. There's an attacking header. We're trying to head it down in the corners. Woo! Come on, my boy! Another type of header, defensive header. So the opposite attacking headers, you're trying to head it as far and away as possible. I'm a defender, so hopefully my head is pretty strong. I'm feeling confident for this one. Farrell just showed in the last round how good she is at striking the ball, but I think heading maybe she might struggle. <laughs> heading hurts, actually. I've, I'm getting a headache already. Andy, he's got the most insane technique I've ever seen. He heads with his body, so he's like this. That's not how you head. My technique aside, this competition is going from fun to serious. Being a sportsman, I'm super competitive. It is good fun, but I love to win, and I, so I'm definitely going to be fighting to try and get into the next round. I'm a man on a mission. It is serious now. Everyone wants to win this. And everyone wants to go to the end. And if I go out in this round, I'm not going to be happy. All too soon, training is over, and it's time for the challenge. Our headed challenge is called Two Heads Are Better Than One. The competitors will be tested on the two types of heading, defensive and attacking. For the defensive header, they'll have to get the ball over into this target. For the attacking one, they'll need to get a high head over the ball and down into this target. Five balls per target, maximum ten points. One by one, we get our heads in gear, ready to take on round two of the tournament. Ooh. This looks interesting. For most players, it's a pretty shaky start. You see a massive target, you're like, yeah, I can get that in. No, it's not so easy. Headings, it's such a difficult skill, and I've just found out how difficult it is. Then Lewis finds his inner Olympian getting four defensive headers in a row. Four, two, three, four. Yeah. That's the first one up, and then, and then once I've got my bearings. Pop, 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 pop. And Ian follows suit with another four attacking headers in a row. Yes! It really isn't Danny's day. Nope. No. no. Yeah, I think that's a touch. And for the rest of us, there's some good luck. And some bad luck. No! Oh. Oh. That's horrendous. I'm really nervous. I'm really worried, because I haven't done well. I don't know what anyone else has got, but four out of ten I thought was really bad. 
We'll leave the challenge knowing that the two with the fewest headers will be out. But we have no idea about each other's scores. Mark has the results. Right then, you lot, it's time to find out who goes through to the semi-final of Star Striker. Eight of you have reached this far on the journey, but for two of you, it is over after this. Only six can go through. Ian. Why are you grinning? <laughs> I'm excited. You're through to the next round. Over the bridge you go. Ollie. You are through yes. to the next round. Yeah! Roll on the semis. Danny. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes words are not needed. Farrell. You're over the bridge again. You're through to the next round. Joel. Will you come over and join me? That's two of the bottom three. Lewis, as befits the athlete, you are into the next round. Andy and Mark, one of you is in the bottom three, one of you is safe, and we'll continue your Star Striker journey. Oh, come on. Andy, you thought your technique was enough to get you into the next round, and it is. You can yes. go over the bridge. Mark, you are in the bottom three. Danny, you made it out of the bottom three last time, but this time, unfortunately, you have to go home. Come and join me. Joel, Mark, one of you will go through, one of you will go home. Joel, as it stands, you are safe. And Mark, as it stands, you are safe. Ah, oh, you what? <laughs> You both tied, we go to sudden death. The playoff. Joel versus Mark in a fight to stay in the competition. Three balls, one cage. Whoever gets the most balls in the target wins. Mark's up first. <laughs> and now Joel. It's two out of two for Mark. No pressure, Joel. Miss this and you're out. This has to go in. Yes! Oh! 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 Mark feels the pressure. <laughs> and Joel is back in the game. This is it. First one to miss is out. Mark saves himself again. Lovely header. Joel, miss it, you're out. I get the gist! <laughs> and it's all over for Joel. I really thought I was going to win that. I've got such a great shaped head. And I thought if I'd got over that part, then it was all mine. But I cheated myself. I cheated the nation. I'm sorry. The results of the heading challenge are in. The winner is Ian with 7 out of 10. And with no points, it's all over for Danny. Mark and Joel are tied, but in sudden death, Mark survives and Joel is out. Next time on CBBC Star Striker, Mark and Mike deliver a shot. Three, not two, will get knocked out at the end of this challenge. We're each tested on our control skills, and things are nail bitingly close as we find out who will be fighting it out in the final. Blue Peter presenters dropping like flies. Take your hands away from me. I don't me. know what happened. I, honestly, I thought I was going to do well, and my head just... I lost my head. Hey. Now you know how I feel. It's yeah. so annoying. So does that mean it's just me left, then? You you two are out. I'm, I'm the only one flying the flag. Come yeah. on, Andy. Good luck. Come on. Now, you have all been getting involved on the message board and predicting your winners. Silver Furry Octopus says, I think Oli Merz is going to win. Did you see him on Soccer Raid? He was amazing. He was good, actually. Now, uh, Amber Disco Starfish says, yo. And I say yo back. Um, I think Ollie will win, but I'm pretty sure Andy will come second. And Mark will come third. Where's the face, people? Right, tomorrow.